Grace and peace to you from God our Father, from our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Hear the word of God concerning the pastoral ministry. It was Christ who gave some to be apostles, some to be prophets, some to be evangelists, and some to be pastors and teachers to prepare God's people for works of service so that the body of Christ may be built up. Pastor Daniel David Shum, on June 19, 1983, you were ordained into the full-time public ministry of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. According to apostolic tradition, you were set apart for the office of word and sacrament in the one holy Christian church by the laying on of hands and by prayer. Before God Almighty, to whom you must give account, and in the presence of his people, you assume this office, believing that the church's call is God's call to the ministry of word and sacrament. Over the years, you've been privileged to serve God's people at Messiah Lutheran Church in Eugene, Oregon, and Shepherd of the Valley Lutheran Church in Junction City, Oregon, Emmanuel Lutheran Church in Walker, Minnesota, and St. John's Lutheran Church in Ackley, Minnesota, at Emmaus Lutheran Church in Fort Wayne, Indiana, St. Michael Lutheran Church in Hebron, Indiana, and at Carmel and Cornerstone Lutheran Church right here in Central Indiana. I give thanks to Almighty God for having called me to this ministry and the congregations which I have been privileged to serve. The public ministry into which you were ordained confesses that the Holy Scriptures are the Word of God and are the norm in its faith and life. We accept, teach, and confess the Apostles, Nicene, and Athanasian creeds. We also acknowledge the Lutheran confessions as true witness and faithful expositions of the Holy Scriptures. You have preached and taught during your ministry in accordance with the Holy Scriptures and these creeds and confessions. Almighty God, who has given you the will to do these things, graciously also gave you the strength and compassion to perform them. And give thanks to Almighty God for his guidance in, in this ministry. Pastor Dan, you are now declaring a closing amen upon your full-time public ministry and as pastor here at Cornerstone Lutheran Church. Amen. Thanks be to God. Will you continue to pray for this congregation, for people and for leaders, as they continue in the ministry and discipleship of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? Yes, by the grace of God. Disciples of our Lord Jesus here at Cornerstone Lutheran Church, today marks the close of Pastor Dan's full-time public ministry and as pastor among us. We've been blessed by his presence and pastoral leadership during these 22 and a half years. Will you remember him in your prayers with gratitude for the care he has shared with you in this ministry? And will you now set him free from your charge and reliance so that he may set aside this call of ministry in peace and joy? Yes, by the grace of God. Pastor Dan, as the Apostle Paul spoke to the Philippians, so we say to you, I thank my God every time I remember you in all my prayers for all of you. I always pray with joy because of your partnership in the gospel from the first day until now, being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. Pastor Dan, Sue, I invite you to please kneel. Pastor Dan and Sue, we've had a special partnership in that gospel, haven't we? For all of those years, uh, we've been together in ministry, and we've grown together, and we've grown in the gospel of Jesus. Um, you have a special, I think, background, Pastor Dan. You know, your uh, grandfather gave your dad at his college this passage, fight the good fight. Take hold of eternal life to which you were called when you made your good confession in the presence of many witnesses. Is Dad watching? Is he going to be able to see this? Okay, light service. Well, uh, your dad, Norm, uh, blessings to you as you celebrate 90 years of faithfulness. And uh, your dad certainly has fought the good fight. He has not only taken hold of eternal life, but he shared it with you. And then when you... Uh, stood before your congregation you made a good testimony a good witness of the gospel of jesus and you knelt before the altar and you got the same passage and you not only then decided to take hold of eternal life 
But then, uh, rather than being an engineer, which you could have been, you could have made lots of money in this world. <laughs> but you not only took hold of eternal life, but you decided that you would devote your life to sharing eternal life. That the heart of Jesus became your heart. And then when you found this young lady, uh, came across her, we've heard many stories about that. So, <laughs> encouraging. Uh, the two of you together then decided that you would not only take hold of that eternal life, but you would live it and you would share it. And you shared that with your family and with all of us for so many years. Uh, but God is not finished with you, okay? Uh, he who began the good work, Paul says, I'm absolutely sure. What's he going to do? He's going to carry it on to completion. And uh, we don't know exactly what that's going to look like, but uh, we praise God for you and your marriage and your family, and you're going to stay in the congregation, and you're going to be a blessing. And so, Dan, may the Lord continue to watch over you. Sue, may you continue to be blessed in this marriage and this relationship, that together you may not only take hold of eternal life, but that you might live it today until the day when he calls you home in completion. Amen. I have a special verse for you. You are the uh, you're the youngest old kid in this congregation that I know. How, how old are you now? Are we gonna do that to me? Yes. Okay. Six, Sixty-six in four months. Sixty-six. You you are the youngest. 66 year old kid I have ever met and it has impacted not only the kids but likewise the families it is a joy with just a couple two pictures for you one is when you were greeting the people and the kids and parents and they say we got to get home we got to suffer whatever it may be it's, no 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 and they hold up the line so they can have a high five with the pastor Dan and so here, look at listen to this verse here. It is from Matthew 19, 14. Jesus said, Let the little children come to me. Do not hinder them, for such belongs the kingdom of God. You were this still little kid. And thank you for continuing taking care of him. <laughs> Thank you. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, thank you. Thank you for all of the blessings that we have received through these two people. Empower them. May they continue to be kids until at least a hundred years of age, touching the lives of many people. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You say at least until 100, and of course he has already put that to the test. <laughs> so rejoice as those days continue. So Pastor Dan, I have chosen a verse that I think the congregation will agree speaks volumes of your ministry, but not only you, but also you, see Susan, in your ministry among us as well, in the ministry of example, and as you said, sometimes a quieter ministry behind as you support and uphold this pastor. Uh, but I know for me also, and for others who have ever participated in a running race, or God forbid, an Ironman, I know for me, running the Indy Mini, and running down the main straightaway of Indianapolis Motor Speedway, to see Susan Shum running right there going, this can't be that bad, Susan's right there. <laughs> and to be encouraged, to be encouraged to finish, and to carry on. That example that both of you set, not only out running, but also in all the other things you both do, these words, which again, I think speak for all of us. Finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence, if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. And listen to what the Apostle Paul says, and I want you to listen to them saying this to us. Whatever you have learned and received and heard and seen in me, practice these things. 
and the God of peace will be with you. Thank you, brother and sister, for the example that you have set among us. May the Lord continue to bless that example moving forward. Amen. Now let's all together join in this prayer of thanksgiving. Will you please join in praying with me? Lord God, Heavenly Father, we give thanks for all the blessings you have bestowed on this congregation through the ministry of your servant, Dan Shum. By your Holy Spirit, we grant him grace that by his example of faithful devotion to your word, he may continue to be a blessing to many. In your mercy, support him and strengthen him and grant him a cheerful spirit, peace, and blessedness through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Pastor Dan, go in peace in the full assurance that Almighty God goes with you. Amen. Well done, good and faithful servant. Let us stay. Now may the God of peace, who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus Christ, the great shepherd of the sheep, through the blood of the everlasting covenant, make you perfect in every good work to do his will, working in you that which is well pleasing in his sight. Through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord give his face to shine on you and be gracious unto you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you 